Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another training video with Zoe and today I'm gonna show her the stay command. She's a puppy and I think it's gonna be very valuable to you guys when you guys see actual footage of a puppy learning the stay command. Now, essentially the stay command is important because uh, you can get your dog to stay so they don't uh, cross the street with dangerous cars coming. Um, they see a dog in the distance, you tell them to stay. Maybe there's a squirrel out there and you want them to stay by your side. And we're also gonna get Trey involved in here today. My brother said that he's not the greatest at stay either so we're gonna show you what a puppy looks like and the big dog so keep watching hey top bully owner before we get started if you want to take your dog training a little bit deeper I do have my pitbull training starter kit that is normally $37 today is only $9.97 and it will give you a good foundation on where to start with your dog training so you're not lost and you know exactly where to start, how I start and train my dogs, you will get this plan, this guide, this foundation. So if you wanna grab that, there'll be a link in the description below where you can go and check it out. Okay, we got Zoe out here and we're gonna start training her the stay command. Now, essentially what I want her to do is just simply stay in a certain position and then I'm gonna come back to her and if she stays in that position the whole time, she gets rewarded. One thing that's very crucial about teaching the stay command is you don't want your dog to come out of the stay command. If you say stay, you want them to stay. You don't want them to tell them stay and then come because you're teaching them to break that stay command. You can see in the video, I teach her to stay at one place and I'm going to walk backwards and then I'm going to walk forwards and uh, reward her. She broke her stay command right there, so I'm using my body to put her back into that position she was just in, right there. It's very important you start with baby steps. Maybe you start with one or two steps, maybe even five steps if your dog gets to hang a bit quick, but that's exactly what I'm doing. And you can see she wants to break the stay command, but I'm making sure I'm putting her right back in the position she was just in. And I don't start moving backwards until she sit and stays and doesn't move. Stay, stay. This is a perfect example. I told her to stay. I'm walking backwards. And she gets rewarded for staying. She gets praise for staying. This is exactly what we want. Sit. Stay. Stay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, That's exactly an example of what you don't want to do, what I was talking about earlier. You know how I said you don't want them to be in a state command and you tell them to come? That's what most dog owners are doing. I wanted to show you an example of what not to do. This is the correct way. We're going to get her to stay into a position. You see how I'm bringing her back because she broke it? Get her to stay. I'm going to lure her back into position. Stay. Then we walk backwards. There, I walked a way more bigger distance than I was previously, so you can see how it's very helpful in training her. Now I'm gonna bring the big dog out. Now this guy is very pushy when it comes to stay, so I'm definitely correcting him a lot more. You can see he breaks the stay position a lot. My brother told me that he struggles with the stay position. So what I'm gonna do is every time he breaks it, I'm putting my body in front of him and I'm forcing him back into that same spot that he was just in. It's important to have great body language when you're dealing with a bigger dog like this because you want to know that they did wrong or you want to let them know they did wrong. You want to put them back in position. And every time he breaks the position, you can see I'm making a noise. Usually it's like a no, but I just do Ch for some reason it works really well. It startles their ears and I get him to stay. Boom, he gets rewarded. Stay. Now you can see right here, I put him in position. And what I'm trying to do now is trying to make a distraction by me just walking back and forth. Ah. 
This typically is a really good distraction for, you see how I run just a tiny bit and he breaks the position? Boom, we're putting him right back into position. Typically, this dog would just start running after me and wanting to play right away. So this is very big improvement on what his state command is at. And I'm actually very proud of him because it only took really one session for him to start understand. Now, you see I got his favorite ball out and I'm going to do the same thing. Instead of me just running around, I'm going to actually throw that ball out. And you're going to see he might break the state position. I'm going to put him right back with my body and make sure that he stays. And if he does, he gets rewarded. Stay. See how he broke position? We're going right back to where he was. Stay. Stay. And we're going to keep doing this until he actually stays nope. and does not move. Nope. And when he does not stay, or when he does not move, he's going to re get rewarded for staying in that position. Sit. Stay. As you can see, very big improvement. He's starting to grasp the concept. I want him to stay. I rewarded him. He's doing really good. He's happy to, you know, get out of that position. I mean, I'm okay with letting him free roam briefly just because he's doing so well. So you can see he wants to play tug right now. I got to get him to out. He's he's hilarious. He just caught me off guard right there trying to play tug of war with me. But we're going to do it with his tug now. Stay. And it's the same concept. I'm going to make him stay and I'm going to throw the tug. And if ah. he breaks position, like right there, I'm going to put him stay. right back with my body stay. and redo the whole process. So this you could really start doing in your house or even in your backyard like I am right now. Stay. And just keep doing this over and over again, staying consistent, being patient with your dog and giving the right command at the right time and the right reward at the right time. And you will see results.